In this video, we're going to be comparing the differences between volatile and non-volatile memory. Let's jump in. So volatile memory is any memory that does not retain its data when it loses power or the system sh is shut down. Common types of volatile memory include random access memory, RAM, and this is used to store data that the CPU needs quick access to while operating. It runs everyday tasks such as loading applications, browsing the internet, or editing a spreadsheet. It also allows you to switch quickly among these tasks while also remembering where you are in each task. Cache memory, on the other hand, is memory in a CPU which stores frequently accessed data and instructions to speed up the data retrieval process. Non-volatile memory, on the other hand, is any memory that does not lose its data when it loses power or the system is shut down. The main types of non-volatile memory include flash memory, and this can be electronically erased and reprogrammed. Examples include USB flash drives, solid state drives, and memory cards. And it is widely used for storage and data transfer in consumer devices and enterprise systems. Another common type is magnetic storage, and so data is stored magnetically and is persisted through power cycles. Examples include hard drive disks and magnetic tape drives. And it is primarily used in data centers for mass storage solutions due to their large capacity and cost effectiveness. So one way to view memory usage on your Mac is to open up the activity monitor and click on the memory tab. Here we have a list of processes in the amount of memory they are using. So I have a next server running locally that is taking up about five and a half gigs of RAM. I have the Keynote application running, which is again taking up around four and a half gigs of RAM. And I also have a lot of Google Chrome processes running. And that's because I have way too many tabs open right now. The memory pressure at the bottom is a graphical representation of how efficiently the memory is serving the processing needs. There is physical memory, which is the amount of RAM installed, in my case, 32 gigs. There's also the memory used, and this is the amount of RAM being used. And to the right, you can see where the memory is allocated. So there is the app memory. This is the amount of memory being used by apps. There's the wired memory, which is the memory required by the system to operate. And this memory can't be cached and must stay in RAM, so it's not available to other apps. And then there is compressed, which is the amount of memory that has been compressed to make more RAM available. There is also cached files, and this is the size of files cached by the system into unused memory memory to improve performance. And then finally, there's swap used. And this is the amount of space being used on your startup disk to swap unused files to and from RAM. Essentially, it's a very cool way of viewing how memory is being used on your computer. And then to see storage on a Mac, you can click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner and then click on the about this Mac button in the drop down. And then you can click on the storage tab. And here we have an overview of the flash storage, which is a type of electronic non volatile computer memory storage that can be electrically erased and reprogrammed. It is commonly used in many devices, including obviously laptops, smartphones, USB drives and solid state drives. Unlike volatile memory, which loses its data when the power is turned off, flash storage retains its data even without the power. And this makes it ideal for storing the operating system and data on devices where access and data integrity are important even after the device is powered down. My Mac has one terabyte of storage and I've used just under half of that storage primarily through documents, which is in green, apps, which is in red and system data, which is in gray. So here are the core differences between volatile and non-volatile memory. Volatile memory is any memory that does not keep its data when the power is lost. And non-volatile memory is any data storage that keeps its data even when it loses power. For the data storage, volatile memory stores data that is currently being used by programs being executed by the CPU. And non-volatile memory stores systems and related information, including the operating system and basic input and output. In terms of speed, volatile memory is typically faster than most non-volatile forms as we have direct access to any memory cell at any time. And then non-volatile memory is typically slower due to physical constraints like moving the read-write heads in HDDs or the time needed to change the state of flash cells in SSDs. For CPU access, volatile memory is faster and is more straightforward, whereas non-volatile memory is typically slower as there are more complex access methods. In terms of cost efficiency, a volatile is generally more costly than non-volatile memory when comparing cost per unit of memory. Factors that influence this include complexity of manufacturing, materials and design, as well as market demand. And then non-volatile memory is generally cheaper. I hope this was a clear explanation of the differences between volatile and non-volatile memory. If you want more in detail technical solutions, make sure to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out techprep.app if you want to see the most up-to-date technical interview questions and solutions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.